Good afternoon, friends. Um, today, we are going to take you on the final tour in the main house of the property here. Um, so this, by American standards, is the third floor, but by French standards, the second floor. So, follow me. <laughs> um, similar to this first slash second floor down here, um, there really aren't a ton of changes that need to be made up here. Structurally, it's fine. Any changes we make are really just aesthetic, um, not that urgent compared to some of the more important structural needs elsewhere on the property. Uh, here's one possible aesthetic change that we might make. <laughs> These pipes are for what the radiators and like the shower plumbing and everything. Is that right? Yep. So we might want to, I don't know, possibly just build something out to hide them just to make it a little prettier. But again, small aesthetic things, not that important. You come up here and first you have this landing space, which is bigger than the one downstairs. Um, it actually juts out a little bit farther over the stairs on the, the floor below. So there's a good amount of space here. Um, we even briefly talked about maybe, yeah, you can see the stairs down there. Um, that's a cool shot, I think. <laughs> it's a cool view there. <laughs> Um, we've thought about possibly even putting a little desk up here so Scott could even use this as his like winter office type of space to have his computer up here because honestly most of the time we don't come up on this floor. Um, these are mostly just other spare bedrooms. We aren't, they're not our bedroom. We don't come up here all that often. It's fairly quiet up here and it's warmer than over in the West Wing where he has his office right now. So during the winter, the fall slash winter when it's kind of cold. Maybe he'll work up here. But yeah, good landing space right there. We have another water closet here. Um, this one actually is a little bit wider than the one that we have downstairs. It's actually a little bit bigger than ours, um, at least width wise. So it might be a little bit easier to fit a hand washing sink in here. And obviously the carpet has to go. <laughs> we talked about this before. Um, oh, do you want to tell them about yeah. that? So one there's picture? a hatch that goes up here to underneath the roof and you could call it a grenier or an attic. Uh, it's not really that usable. It is high enough to kind of crawl and squat and I think there's one or two spots where you can actually stand, but wouldn't use it much for storage. It's pretty much just empty space up there, although it has been boarded up and it runs the full length of the, the house, the main house. But I do, need, or I do need to check it out because there's a lot of flies <laughs> coming into this floor. And that's really the only way to get up there underneath the roof and it seems to be where the flies are coming from. So yeah, got to check that out, set some fly traps and then just see if there's any like holes that need to be patched or filled. Yeah. Like, just, it's inevitable to get flies here in France, but may as well try and cut it down while we can. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, we're pretty sure that that's where they're coming from because they are the most numerous on this floor, on the top floor. There are a, a still a fair number down one floor below where our bedroom is, but then down on the ground floor, there's basically none. Um, so really seems like they're coming from up here and that's the only space that really makes sense. We don't see any other obvious holes where they could be coming in. Like none of the windows are, you know, cracked or broken open. We don't see any obvious holes in the wood. So the only place that makes sense is that they're coming from that crawl space. Yeah. So we need to figure out. Yeah, we, we stayed up on this floor when we originally moved in mm -hmm. and Brittany and I noticed a whole lot of flies coming from a room when we were staying in there. And then one night I stayed in this room, which we'll show you in a bit, but I killed about, I think, 12 or 18 yeah. in just a few minutes. And I saw them coming from, not this one, but the light fixtures. That's where they seem to come and congregate mm -hmm. around the most aside from the windows. Yeah. But I went up there once and didn't see anything that jumped out or even really noticed any flies, but... They're, they're coming from there. So we'll yeah. do some, set some traps and yeah. try and take out what we can. Yeah, what we've heard is that flies are like a really big problem here in France, more so than like in the US, at least in all the places where I lived, mosquitoes were the, were the big scourge. Um, flies, not so much. Yes, you had flies, but they were never a huge problem. Whereas from what we've heard here, 
they're a big problem. So. Yeah, chateau hunting tip. Don't be put off by flies, because I've literally looked at chateaus for sale and the floor of an entire room was just black. Yes. With all the dead flies. The pictures then, were really gross. And they were just piled <laughs> high in the sinks and the toilets. Yeah. So you have yeah. to look past that to see the potential of a property. Yes, and even here, like we regularly come up to like vacuum the windowsills and clean up the dead flies and stuff, and you come back a week later and there's a lot more. Oh heck, it's even. Just, our bedroom, we vacuumed oh, yeah. and I yeah. came back a couple hours later and, and there was like four or five dead flies already. Yeah, yeah, so that's something we gotta address. Uh, and then we go in here to the one of the three bedrooms up here and get the light. Um, Scott's sister Ashley has been staying in this room when she comes to visit. So the decor you're seeing is her personal styling in here. You get a nice view of the river. In the front garden. A little There's nice little a trimo. trimo right there. And again, just like all the other bedrooms here, for the most part, it's in really good condition. All the bedrooms are really fine. Like there are minor aesthetic issues for the most part to take care of. Yeah, there's like a little bit of cracking and you know plaster here or there, maybe a little bit of paint touch up, but honestly, most of the bedrooms are in really good condition for a chateau of this age which I know not everybody knows. We've put it in some of the comments, but it's the records we have date back about 400 years. So um, over here we have a radiator. This room actually gets like the hottest of almost all the bedrooms in the house in the winter when we turn the radiators on. This one gets really, really hot compared to the others. Um, and yeah, you have a little view over the walled garden there. And the other advantage of this room is it has a little sink and shower area. Um, one problem that we do need to address is that it seems like this sink has started leaking. <laughs> Might have been leaking all along, we don't really know, but we have just recently noticed one floor down, like directly below this is our bedroom. And uh, in our closet, um, I noticed like three or four days ago, I looked on the, the wall there and it was kind of discolored <laughs> and I felt the wall where it was discolored and it felt damp. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much directly below this sink. Um, so we think that's where it's leaking. We've turned the water off for now and we are gonna investigate that. But we yeah. witnessed some water dropping or dripping right there and then also that. some pooling along the wall. And then another fun fact is, don't think it's a drip or at least a uh, leak, but you can hear this radiator going when we're downstairs in our bed. Yeah, yeah, you can hear dripping. Actually, you can hear absolutely everything from our bedroom. Uh, possibly one change we need to make is add some sort of an insulation or barrier in between the floors because... You yeah, hear you everything hear in this house. Every word, every step, every creak of every cupboard, you will hear it all. So when somebody is up here walking around at all hours of the night, we hear it downstairs. <laughs> also, all the doors. I don't think, I, this might be the only door that closes, I forget. Actually, I don't think does any it, of the doors does close. Does it close? Hang on. It does. Yep. This door is lucky. <laughs> See, I think almost all the other bedroom doors uh, do not close properly. Maybe one other one, maybe that metal bedroom one does. Nope. I'm not sure, it but does not. okay. So yeah, our bedroom doesn't, our door does not close. Um, it catches. Um, the other bedroom downstairs does not close. And I guess the two other ones on this floor don't close. So yeah, <laughs> we have a lot of doors to fix this summer. That's another project, but this room is lucky. It gets a door that closes. <laughs> and then you come down this hallway this brings us to the smallest bedroom on this floor, which we are gonna keep using as a bedroom for now because um, we have like a lot of family coming to visit this summer. My parents and my sister and her husband are all coming along with Scott's parents and his sister and his niece. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of people in the house. So we're gonna need this bedroom. Um, but eventually long-term, I think we're gonna want to convert this to a bathroom. Um, as in a full bathroom, because uh, otherwise the bedrooms up on this floor, or even if it's just that one bedroom, don't have access to a full bathroom. They either have to go into that bedroom and whoever's staying in there and like interrupt their privacy or go downstairs and share the same bathroom that we are already sharing between two bedrooms downstairs, when, in which case it would be three bedrooms worth of people sharing one bathroom, which is not very fair. So <laughs> we're gonna put a full bath in here eventually, but for now, we need the bed, we need the bed space. <laughs> 
And eventually when we have, you know, kids up here on this floor, um, this will be the kids bathroom. So yeah, but for now, it's a very cute little room. It works. And then the last bedroom up here, here we see, here you can see the fly problem we're talking about. Uh, we literally just cleaned up before we shot this to clean up the flies and we you can see. We were gonna show people the messy side of the chateau. We're like, yeah, you know what? Who wants to see a whole bunch of dead flies? <laughs> and, and these are all living, but. Yeah, they're still alive, but you can see how many we're talking about when we say it's a problem, it's a problem. So yeah, we gotta figure out the, the root source of how they're getting in up, up there and block it off as best we can. So, entre vous. So the last bedroom on this floor also has a fireplace, a marble fireplace, which is very nice. Um, this is the only bedroom that didn't have a trumeau, but it's got this lovely mirror anyway. Yeah, the um, previous owners had that mirror hanging on one of the landings and we put it there just until we find a trumeau that will fit this space. I think it looks cool. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, but this is like a really, really good big size bedroom. Um, you know, I don't know if this was like a kid's room back in the day or something. I don't think it would have been servants quarters because like we pointed out to you in the West Wing, I'm pretty sure that would have been the servants quarters given how narrow and how steep the stairs are there. And this is just, you know, regular stairs up here, but who knows? Um, but yeah, good size room. Again, like the other room, there's really not a lot to do in here. It's in just as good a condition as all the other bedrooms here with the one issue that all of the bedrooms have, the door doesn't close all the way. It gets caught right there. So we're either going to have to. Hmm? No, I was going to say it gets caught there. I don't feel really showing the camera with how slanted the uh, top of the door frame is. Yeah. And then uh, there's a couple issues in the flooring where the boards just go down when you step on. So you really have mm -hmm. to kind of watch where you step in here. Yeah, I mean, I'll pretty much all, both of these top two floors could benefit from like fixing a few of the floorboards, but it's really pretty minor, honestly. It's pretty stable. Um, the, the boards around our bedroom actually creak a lot more than the ones up here do. This one seems more stable. <laughs> um, so we're actually gonna have to take the door off the hinges and rehang it because obviously it's dragging a little bit here, but also the latch this part is just a little bit lower than it should be for where it's supposed to latch into in here. It just doesn't catch enough. Right. So it needs to be raised up just a little bit here, but it should be a pretty quick, easy fix. So anyway, that is the top floor, the second slash third floor uh, of the main house of the property. As I said, it's, they're all in pretty good condition up here. Honestly, we're extremely lucky. Um, they don't need very much work compared to a lot of other places. Um, and even with the radiators and the heating and stuff in here, this place is actually, this floor is actually the warmest by far in the entire chateau. Like even when the heating's not on, it's the warmest. Um, Cause again, obviously heat rises. So it's kind of nice up here. Um, yeah, any other comments up on this floor? Nope. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, so that concludes our tours of the main house. Um, next, we will do some videos out on the grounds showing you the property. Um, we actually filmed some. I don't know if we completed them, but we started filming some a few months ago back in like late autumn. So it'll probably look a little bit different than it does right now in early to mid spring. So we'll show you what we have then. Um, if we still need to fill in some more, we'll give you an update. We've been doing a lot of work in the garden, so we might have some updates to show you on how things look now compared to when we first started filming them. But yeah, we'll show you the grounds, we'll show you all the gardens, and then we'll start showing you the outbuildings of which there are several. <laughs> so that's all for now. Sayonara. A bientôt. A bientôt. And now it's time to split the chestnut. <laughs>